Paul, what do you think about? Gifted hater clips. I think it is very good at- <laughs> Well, Uncle Joe is having a little bit of gin tonight. I'm feeling a little loose. What we watching? I don't know. I was thinking, um, anybody want to send in their Instagram? And then I'm drunk, so I can look at your guys' Instagrams. I don't... Oh, my God. You guys in John's vid. How many fucking times do you want to watch John's vid? Rerun the palace vid? Dude, if I watch that palace video while I'm drinking, I will fall asleep call you what they want but they can't call you broke they're still calling me broke she who shall not be named was calling me broke is he, is he making money off that show he can't dumb data called you rich dude i was thinking about that actually today that dumb data video how he's just trying to calculate my my income i was like the the pocket watching on this guy is unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> Joe makes five hundred million dollars off YouTube. Yeah, I'm the Logan Paul of skateboarding. Lakai bubble, uh, dude. They shouldn't have called it bubble because the fucking Lakai bubble popped a long time ago. Okay. All right, Kurt Bay. Let's see what you got, you little bitch. You have three pins. That's an interesting move. I personally, I don't like to pin. You're putting a lot of weight into these posts, you know? But when you pin, it kind of sets people's expectations really high. If I click on one of your pins, I'm expecting bangers. So you know what, actually, bangers though, when on Instagram are relative, there's relative bangers. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna look at this post, which is not pinned, and then I'm gonna check it out against a pinned post. 27 comments. I like your outfit in this one a lot more, but let's see what's going on. Oh, to the black screen. Do we need to be doing the black screen? I'm not sure. Okay, your grip tape. A lot of shit happening on your grip tape. What are those? Are those Kyle Walkers or some shit? You have like a, a random... This is the problem with Vans. They got like seven pro shoes and they all look... Is it, Are these Kyle Walkers? I don't know what they are. They could be any fucking thing. So you've got like a hockey board with like a rainbow grip tape. Some Kyle Walkers and cargo pants on. You could give a fuck. I like that. Because brand allegiance, when you think about it, brand allegiance is stupid as fuck. If you're going out and you're buying things, like sometimes people get roasted for wearing like Nike shoes and Adidas socks. That's like, fuck you. I bought both of them. I'll buy whatever I want. You're like the ultimate example of that. You went all over the place. You're not a fan of anybody. This guy's a fucking fan of skateboarding and a fan of himself. Skate life, skate, skate or die, skate every damn day, skate crunch, skate and destroy, skater, skate park. Do hashtags do anything? Do they do a fucking thing? They do? Somebody says yes? Because this is 74 likes. All right, let's check out this pinned. <laughs> you already know, bitch. Run that back, turbo. <laughs> if Luke Murphy Media, my dog, if he was on the iPhone, this is a front angle right here. This is a rolling front angle, okay? You, your filmer's like back here. You want your filmer to be over here. You want to be filming you rolling right in front of you. That's how you take this clip to the next level. If you film it like that, this thing is doing numbers. This thing's doing numbers. 747 likes, that's a lot of likes. That's a good amount of likes. But the hashtags must have worked on this one. But if Luke Murphy Media had the angle on this, this is at least 2,000 likes. What's up with your ankles? Everybody's a, a 
their own human being, and and that is what is is beautiful a, about a race of Homo sapiens. Race. Are we all one race? According to uh, Michael Relevant, we're all one race anyway. We're all the race of Homo sapien. We're all a bunch of homos. And you express yourself in this particular way. But I have to wonder, do you not feel like you're endangering your ankles? It just looks kind of uncomfortable. It looks like a weakness, you know? If this were a video game and I were tasked with defeating you. The little tip that would pop up on, on the bottom of the screen would say, attack Kurt Bray at the ankles, that's his weak spot. <laughs> like a chihuahua right at your ankles. You stomp that hoe. I looked at Mason Silva's Instagram story. It's all, uh, we already knew. Everybody already knew that shit. I, this happened to me this morning. I was on the toilet just peeing sat down because I'm a boss and I see this mosquito in front of me and this is a new technique I've started employing is I grab I don't clap because I feel like when you clap something about the wind like the air that you crush like pushes the mosquito out or something because my success rate for grabbing versus clapping grabbing much higher I grab the mosquito and I squeeze fucking feel that thing get crushed and i open up my palm and it's there's a blood spatter on it there's blood spatter on my hand i'm like that's what you fucking get for stealing from me or it was me my dad or the dog that was somebody's blood on my hands and it felt so good just fucking popping that bitch bro's a psychopath there's nothing psychopathic about it. that's revenge dude that's that thing if that, it's your basic human nature there's nothing psychopathic at all there's no deviance from from normal human psychological functioning you know in the same way that if somebody hits you you just become enraged you become overwhelmed with rage and you fucking fight that's why people fight all the time the same way as if a mosquito steals your blood you kill that mosquito Keep new bronze vid on Thrasher. I'd rather kill myself right now, but thank you for the suggestion. Touch my forehead, chest, left shoulder, then right side. Not many have the balls to skate to Drake. What the? Is that on purpose? There is absolutely no name for this maneuver. Try naming this. Go on, try. Someone, someone write, write a name for this trick. A true grind. <laughs> Uh, that's good. It's from what that kid said the other day. The somebody yesterday, I think, said they had a dream that I was I was in their dream and Sean Pablo was in the dream and Sean Pablo invented a new grind trick and it went viral on Instagram and it was called the true grind. <laughs> Maybe this is what he was talking about. Maybe this was the true grind. It's just a weird nose grind. That will never do danger. This is the true grind. Okay, I like Drake. I do like Drake. This song fucking sucks, though. Listen to him, like, explain himself in a in a bad Jamaican accent. So ass. <laughs> that song is so fucking bad. Bro is young. He's not bad. I was way better than him when I was this <laughs> No, no, he's not a bad skater, though. He's not a bad skater. How many days? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll go on fucking FA's goddamn thing to see what we already know. Fucking awesome IG. FA World Entertainment. I have to take a drink. Cheers. Another liberal. Goddamn, another liberal talking. I gotta take a drink, man. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curran, yeah, Curran, yeah. Oh, is there a part, maybe? It looked like there's a, maybe, I don't know, some kind of video. Because he is approaching what I would assume is a skateboarding obstacle. Yeah, okay, so footage soon. Surf, surf, surf. Can we watch real skating? Dude, fuck you, Mr. Pool. This is as real as it gets. Whatever palace beta blockers, palace third wave, P 
palace erectile dysfunction. None of that shit is real. The, that real stuff is what the average person is posting. The everyman. The everyman's clip. That's real skateboarding. Refresh FA page? God damn it! What the... What the fuck? Holy shit. Look at these two. Jake Anderson looks like a who, a Dr. Seuss character. Curran Caples just looks like he's... He, I don't even have a joke for Curran. He just looks rich. Wow. They got the front of the store. They, they must have stacked some bangers. Look, monster. Jake Anderson and Curran Caples... In the front of the F.A. store, 2023. What do you think about that? At the time when this was being covered, I was kind of tired of, of everybody shitting on F.A. all the time because I, I thought I thought it was boring. Um, so I, I was like, I had a positive attitude about the move. I was like, oh yeah, I get it. It's a footage move and their problem is they need footage. That's the thing that people complain about. But I do wonder like how this is gonna look in two years like how will we look back upon this will we be like killer decision by the dillster you know say what you will about jason dill but when he put jake and curran on fa stroke of genius or will we look back on it and be like i can't believe he thought that would fucking work costin next Fucking Costin. I'm focusing my FA board right now. Dude, is this what pushed you over the line of not being an FA fan anymore? If anything, I feel like this this only gives you to me, this only represents optimism about the trajectory of the brand. At least they did something, is what I'll say. It's because the criticism is they don't fucking do anything, they don't do anything, they don't do anything. So the fact now that they do something, maybe you don't think it's the right move, but at the very least, they did something. Like, who who would you guys put on FA if not these guys? That's, that's all I'll ask the chat right now. I rarely go to you guys for your insights, but tonight, I'm, I'm feeling curious. I think it's a good move, Jinwoo. Now, Jinwoo's on sci-fi. I'm making that happen. P-Rod, okay. Burberry. <sighs> You guys are fucking stupid as shit. Look at what you're saying. Jesus Christ. The problem with this Twitch chat sometimes is that you guys will be trolling and it's not funny. <laughs> and then you'll be serious and it's not funny. Some of you are good, but a lot of you, you guys know what the fuck is going on. The white boy in white tea business is whack, okay? But it is a company run by two white boys in white tees. The fucking Dill and Ave or a couple of white boys. Can I talk to you guys about something? Do any of you guys watch Aiden Ross? How the fuck does anyone watch him? I don't even think if I was a kid. Dude, he's so fucking whack. He just relentlessly is presented to me on my social media. A lot of you know, Twitch streamers or content generating, like, e-waste machines. They do, is they just, like, the punchline is always somebody says something relatively homosexual, and then they pause and they go, hey, yo! And, like, that still is going on. That's, like, the basis for people's entire careers. That's the basis for Aiden Ross's entire career. I can't fucking understand it. Hey, yo, pause. Bruh, did you just say, bruh? Oh, oh, bruh. I was listening to Alex Jones on a podcast today. He's got a lot of interesting things to say. He thinks that the the the, the world shadow government wants to kill 90% of the population by 2030 or something, 2035. That sounds really scary. But as long as Aiden Ross is in that 90% of people that get executed, I don't really give a shit, then I'm fine. What's 7.5 billion people if one of them is Aiden Ross? We'll call that a victory. 
you're trip you tripping unless you're starting beef for clout dude i'm drunk i'm fucking around obviously i don't think that killing aiden ross you sound like an aiden ross viewer if you think that i i actually believe that seven and a half billion people should die in exchange for the death of aiden ross <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even kill myself to kill Aiden Ross. My boy Neon's in here. He he just um he just changed his life. He oh, Who the fuck is this? Is it even possible if you're a child for this to be the content that you consume and then to grow up to be a successful human being? I feel like this does irreparable damage to you. Bro, what are you doing, bro? Bro, what are you doing, bro? He communicates in the style of TikTok comments. This guy thinks I was talking about... Holy shit, calling Mumiji the Japanese Antoine Dixon had me howling. The face resemblance is actually crazy close. I didn't say they're looking close in the face. This guy thinks... <laughs> that Mumiji, Nishia, and Antoine Dixon look the same in the face? Ah, that is not what I was saying, man! <laughs> This video is not doing that good. 85k in two days? Jesus Christ. I'm John, I'm fucking literally the next John Hill. I could just upload four shitty vlogs in a week and get more views than that. I know, it's over as fuck. Because you don't post? Nah, who gives a fuck? I mean, that's how you know you're really good when you started. <laughs> When your videos stop getting views because the content has surpassed the intellect of the average viewer. Is this you? Are you my girl mod? The Dude, I love this comment. Fucking amazing. This person had a thrasher. I Dude, I love a, I love a good horny guy comment. Fuck, you're fucking amazing. Holy fuck, you're so fucking amazing. You're so good, holy fuck. Uh, who's that guy that stars on The Bear? Jeremy Allen White. This, this guy, I liked this guy. I liked this dude, and then he got too popular, and he became obsessed with himself. He, like, divorced his wife, and then, like, called the paparazzi to take photos of him running with his shirt off. That the reason I was even thinking of this is because he left a comment on some girl's post all day today. I was sat on the floor right back there, and I was scanning photos, um, and I was just doom scrolling on X.com, and I saw that he was like, he left a comment on some supermodels page, and he's getting cooked by a couple people, and then some people were like, what's the problem with him complimenting a beautiful woman? I'm like, he's being horny. He has a pattern of self-obsession, and now he's trying to bang supermodels. The thing is, here's the problem. Here's the, let me let me tell. You. If you're this guy, right? If this is you, you look like this. You're only hot if you act like you don't know you're hot. If you look like because you're right on the fucking cusp. You're right there. If you let people know that you think you're hot, then people will stop thinking that you're hot. But if you're humbly goaded about it, then people are going to talk about how hot you are. And people were talking about how hot he, he was, and then he fucking picked up on it, and he didn't realize that he was a silent hot guy. Not a fucking self-aware hot guy. You can't be a self-aware hot guy if you look like this. Now, I mean, it's crazy how I used to look at this dude... And I was like, I really like that actor. I liked him in Shameless. Um, I even, would, after all the hype around the bear, I was like, I'm excited to watch that as a television show. I'm always looking for a good television show. I'm excited to watch this. And now I won't watch it because looking at him pisses me off. He fucked up. I actually believe, I genuinely believe that him being obsessed with himself on social media is an irreversible career mistake. I don't think he can bounce back. I don't think he's coming back after this. I think that's the end for him. I think he's done. I can't look at him the same ever again. Could be a cool comeback. If he got if he got fat, he could have a comeback. Yeah. He could have a fat guy comeback. Hope he gets laid. He's getting laid. See, okay, that's not the question, okay? 
Jeremy Allen White is getting laid. He's getting laid, but he will be having... He's not he's not having wifey style sex, okay? He's banging clout goblins and clout vampires because the energy that he is putting out there is the energy that he is receiving in return. So, yeah. I hate him. Get him out of here. I don't want to see this guy anymore. Get him off my screen. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Let me let me go back to this. Gifted hater clips. Gifted hater clips. Gifted hater. Lexbian lover. Le hey, lesbian. Are you going to do a fucking kickflip or not? Four. Four. God damn it. 420 Lex. Put, all right. Here's here's my advice for you, 420 Lex. No more weed until you learn how to kickflip. You can pick up the fucking bong or the J or the bubbler. What are they, a swisher? You can you can have all that shit again once you learn how to kickflip. Why are you laughing, Sammy Baked? Your name is Sammy Baked. Sammy, let me see you do a kickflip right now. Sa link it. Sammy Baked is over here laughing like these jokes do not apply to him. Does the username idiot just come from the word idiot or is there anything else to it? Sorry, I'm extremely drunk. I don't know if this is a dumb question. Dude, I'm drunk too. Thanks for the 100 cheers. No, no, no. It's uh, the, the idiot username is my was my League of Legends username. Now my League of Legends username is George Poulos. And maybe I should just change my Twitch name to George Poulos. Okay, I gotta respond to this. You're aware no one would respect your opinion if you couldn't skate, huh? I, I think you're trying to get a rise out of me, XX, but I actually started my YouTube channel with no clips. I was clipless when I started my YouTube channel. And I did that on purpose. Okay, people in this FA comment section are like tagging me being like, I can't believe uh, his prediction came true. Like I pulled that out of my ass on, on Curran and, and Jake. It's like, dude, everybody fucking knew. All right, you want me to look at Neo's? All right, Neo, let's see it. Oh, Neo's shirtless. Neo, how old are you, Neo? Neo, age please on Neo. 19? All right, he says he's 19. Oh! That's what you get, Neo, for trying to do some cutesy ass Gabe trick. Ooh, shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus! Oh! God, I can't believe I just gave. I I was just that stoked on Neo clips. Oh no, he's gonna be. He's gonna have a fucking boner. He's gonna be worse than this guy, man. Neo's gonna break up with his girlfriend. He's gonna start posting fucking photos of himself jogging around the Swedish neighborhood that he lives in on Instagram. It's because he he grew up in Oski Skate Park. That's why. He knows how to do this shit. Damn, that was gnarly. Around the corner. Oh my. Neo, you're almost actually good. It's close. That Smith grind around the corner. If you don't get any better, though, you'll be stuck. In local ripper territory. Are you just like skating to Aurelian Giroux rapping right now? Dude, you would never fucking believe it. You'd never believe it. This guy is stuck on Discord all day. I open up my phone, I open the Discord app, it's Neo. Blah, 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 blah. Talking about Counter-Strike, talking about fucking Minecraft. This guy plays Minecraft. How does he have the time in the day to skateboard at this level and play Counter-Strike and play Minecraft and have a girlfriend? <laughs> Got it. Deck checked on that, no comply. Oh. 
un bloc de tostil Max Varta Jabba, de după rubața Quattro de Axar, faie zi Dude, Supreme Underwear and the Santa Claus Polars Ooh, that was nasty Nolly Pop to Smithers Dude, Neo needs to be put down. Holy shit, dude. Neo's fucking good. Why is Neo good? This ruins everything. I like the world that I lived in before I knew that Neo could do a fucking body burial, like switch Smith grinder, fakey fucking tit sag on the highest quarter pipe in the park. Does Oski follow you, Neo? If I were Oski, I would be following you, Neo. I'd be like, this he is he is next up from my city. Look at all these Swedish people. Oscar Drought and Oscar Hertzberg. Damn, 1K, Neo. You're slept on. You need to take your ass to TikTok, Neo. He uh, he he was following you? How, guys, how do we punish Oski for unfollowing Neo? I'm furious. Neo, I do love you. I do love you. And that's why I want you to succeed. And I want you to get on TikTok. I want you to drop some banger edits on the talk. And you know what? Once the skateboarding gets lifted off the ground, you and your girlfriend, you got a beautiful girlfriend, you guys start doing couples content. What do you know? Next thing you fucking know, Neo's at 150K followers on TikTok, and that's just the beginning. It could, it could be so easy for you, Neo. It could all be so easy, Neo. You're probably worried about money and what, what, what job you're going to have. Or maybe you're not worried about it. Maybe you're not. But you could be the you could be a new kind of skateboarding influencer. He's going to get on TikTok and average like three likes a post. At first, at first, perhaps. Look, you guys are linking your IGs now. You guys are linking your IGs. I just don't think that any of you are going to be able to beat Neo. Oh! oh flush these fuckers. Yeah, they're both looking kind of pro right now. The Jaws is so chill. I'd love to have a beer with Jocelyn. That. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> nah, I need to redo that. <laughs> Damn, fucking local Joe asked Mario McCoy for a fucking nose blunt tutorial or whatever, and all of a sudden he's acting brand new. Mario, local Joe might care about what you have to say, but the only reason local Joe cares is because you're a pro skater. Nobody else thinks you're cool. Uh-oh. Come on, David. He's not even thinking about what he's doing. With the T tool in the pocket? That's crazy. You a real one for that. But yeah, exactly. Aiden Ross commentary. That's crazy. Come on. The T Use your brain, Mario. In the pocket? That's crazy. Average Brian Arnett viewer be like. Chill on Brian. Dude, Brian's doing just fine. Brian's doing just fine. The number one most common thing that I get when I go to the skate park is. Hey, you know Brian Arnett? It's what's said to me. It's how it is presented. I've never, I'll tell you this, I've never had a white kid come up to me and ask me if I know Brian Arnett. That's never happened. <laughs> you calling that? It's funny to me that Jocelyn, like, the way he tries to clean it up. I you know what? I was talking a lot of shit on Mario McCoy earlier, but I'm actually a, I'm a fan now. That's fair. Ooh. It fucking Jocelyn is bring your kids to work day. You can hear that that goddamn baby. You know what it sounds like in the barracks with these babies? 
It sounds like a an indoor swimming pool. Ooh, that's right, Jocelyn. I hope Jocelyn wins. I love Jocelyn, dude. I don't even think that first one was much of a redo. Come on. There we go. Damn, peep the shtee. I don't think I've ever done anything like this in my life. He's got that fucking Jagger cock adjustment, Steez. He's the ultimate blue collar dude. He's sponsored by fucking Rockstar and Etnies. I don't know about that one. I'm calling that one too crisp. I don't know about that one. I mean, there's a limit. There's a limit to what you do as a referee. At this point, I th I believe this is tampering. There we go. What's going on with his back? How's that even possible? Dude, he's got a fucking a camel hump in there. This has to be some kind of visual discrepancy. 